Hi, I'm John Noser. I'm here at Eschen Spiel 2012 with Board Game Geek TV. I'm here with Vlad Sladaru, and we are uh, looking at Exodus Proxima Centauri from NSKN Legendary Games. Exactly. So, why don't you give us an overview? That this seems like a bit fantastic type of game. I love the the little how the little pieces fit everywhere, and they've got some nice mini miniatures. So, um, it's uh, the, the game Exodus is a empire building game. Okay. It's set into space um, in a in a future, some future where humanity left Earth and got to Alpha Centauri. Okay. Um, there's up to six factions which are basically fighting for domination in the Alpha Centauri system. Now, do the factions have different powers or are they all basically the same? In the basic game, they are all the same, but we already have a small expansion where each faction gets a special leader with a cool. different power. Cool. So we're in, we're in Alpha Centauri, we're trying to, to dominate the system by the game's end. We, there's a fixed number of turns. Seven in the normal uh, game, nine in the extended one. Sounds good. And to, to dominate it actually means that we need to get, at the end of the turns, the most uh, victory points. And we get victory points for controlling planets with our population. Okay. Uh, for controlling space with our ships. Okay. And for fighting and destroying other people's uh, ships during the, during the game. Sounds fun. Um, okay, so that, that's what we're trying to do. Um, how do we do it? So, first of all, just just let's go uh, fast through all that is on the table because okay. there's a lot of things. So, this is the the galaxy map. There's a lot of hexes. One either having either one planet or an asteroid. Okay. Giving different kind of resources. It's three types. The blue, the crystallized platinum, is used for, uh, for mostly everything. It's the basic currency. Okay. Uh, then the green, it's the phasium. It's used for buying technological upgrades to put on the ships. Okay. Uh, the red, the axinium, is used for building the ships. So okay. you have a fleet of ships. And the, obviously, this is just a, a truncated yeah, small the, map. The map is going to be much larger. This, this is a very, very small map. There's actually a lot of hexes. And uh, when you play it in six players, you need quite a large table to do Sounds it. Sounds good. Uh, the layout is random. So okay. besides the, the center, which is the Galactic Council, okay. and uh, the home planets of each player, everything else is randomized. So every game is, uh, is different. Sounds great. OK. Then we have here a, a main board where uh, you, you keep track of the turn, the victory points, uh, and the trading phase. Sounds good. Then each player has a player board where they keep track of their resources and the technology they research. Okay. There's four verticals of technology mm -hmm. and three types. There's military technologies, there's uh, civilian technologies and transport technologies. Okay. And, and that's just the different symbols here. Yeah, this the symbols. And by researching... Hold on one second. We have an announcement. No one can hear us. So we can tell all these different secrets because no one can hear yeah. us right now. <laughs> Beth has a funny face. That's my secret for today. Yeah, no one can hear me because of the thing. I know. I know. I'm just picking on you. Are we ready? Good. Continue. Okay. So by uh, by uh, researching the strategies, by researching the the first ones, which are easier, the the later ones become expensive. Yes. But if you're rich, you can start with the later ones as well. Okay. Um, so then, then uh, the player board. Then you have the ship templates. There's four different types of ships. The first one is a small scout type ship, yep. which has only one weapon mount, one shield mount. The second one is a more advanced fighter with still one weapon, but uh, ah, this, is, this is the carrier, sorry. This is the advanced fighter, okay. the second one, with three weapon mounts and one shield. Okay. There's a carrier for transporting population with three shields and one weapon. Yep. And then there's the, the cruiser, uh, which is a multiple role. It can transport, but also it can fight very well. Okay. And it has four weapon mounts and two shield mounts. Nice. Um, so these are the ships. You research technologies here, okay. and then you buy the technologies, uh, you buy the components, and you place the place components on, the on your ships. And then your ships will do better in, in the battles on the board. Sounds good. Okay. Um, and then the, the biggest decision that you make as a player is what actions you take each turn. And okay. you have six choices. 
you can do research, which is buying a technology. Yep. You can build ships, of course. That's uh, you pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. You can buy upgrades, which is buying the technology you research. Putting on the ships, okay. You can trade, which means you go to the market and exchange resources between one another. Okay. The earlier you go, the better rates you get. You can even turn a profit. Okay. Um, and then there's two, two smaller ones. Banking means you simply get money. Getting money is good. From the bank and mining. This is actually a, a cool mechanic in this game. Okay. The resources are limited. We now have here two crystallized platinum. If somebody were to take them, there's no more crystallized platinum on this planet for somebody to take. So then you need to, to do a mining action to discover a new deposit. Okay. And that's why the, the mining action is here. Sustainability is very important. Okay. Um, another important part of the game is the politics. Okay. There's a whole phase devoted to politics. Okay. Where um, first players go to the Galactic Council and vote on, uh, on laws. You have permanent laws, you have um, decisions that take place immediately. Okay. And there's quite a lot of them. Wow. They can affect the game by uh, reducing the price on trade, uh, imposing restrictions on, on movement or any kind of thing. That's going to allow the game to have a different feel every time you play. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's about all the components. That's a very, very short explanation of what happens during the game. Okay. I can show an example of combat in, yeah. I think, the one minute that we have left. We have so a couple minutes. Have, yeah, well, let's do a quick combat. Let's assume the blue player is attacking here. Uh, they want to get to the, to the green uh, phasium on this planet. Okay. There's an NPC ship that's already here, so they need to fight it first. Um, I will draw a resistance card. This is the resistance card. Okay. Uh, it has uh, three cannons and two shields. Okay. So three cannons means it will roll three dice. Two shields, it means I need to hit it three times to kill it. Um, and my ships, I have um, here, I have a battle carrier, which has I'm one weapon. I'm my ships real quick. Yeah. Keep fighting. <laughs> <laughs> which has uh, one weapon and two shields. And I have a war cruiser, which has a total of four cannons. No shields, though. Let, let's let's give it a shield because it will otherwise it will die really fast. Okay, so we to solve the combat, we roll dice simultaneously. Okay. Uh, How then, many dice are you rolling? How many weapons the, you have? The number of cannons. Yeah. So so this one has three. And I will I have, have one plus four. Okay. Which is five. So am I, are you blue and I'm the resistance, or are you the resistance? Uh, let, I can be the resistance. Okay, I got the I, blue I dice resist. anyway. Okay, so I roll three, you roll five. Again, can't count. Okay, everything above four is a hit. Woohoo! I got three hits. Okay, I have uh, three hits as well. Oh, nice roll. So, I destroyed the resistance, the blue player destroyed the resistance, Woo! but also... I take three hits. Uh, yeah, uh, the, the blue player takes three hits, and usually in, in the game the resistance is controlled by a player, yep. and they try to make the most damage possible. So in this setup, three hits would take away one war cruiser ah! or one battle carrier. So it can take either one of them. But since the war cruiser is more expensive, I will take this one away. But still, the, the captain blue player, is being fired. The blue player gets the planet. Gets uh, it can now deploy population here to get the resources. Now, do you need a carrier to deploy population? Yeah, the, the so population. So you could have destroyed this, and I would have been able to put population. Exactly. On. Okay. Exactly. The population needs to be on the carrier. Okay. Uh, and then also, there's a reward here. You are basically getting, I believe, uh, an advanced cannon, and uh, so a three, a three times cannon, a two and times, times cannon. cannon. Now, I would still need to take the, uh, the uh, up by upgrade to put these on my ships. No, you can put them. You just need the upgrade if you want to buy more. OK, so I can put them on my ships right now. So you, you get the, the tool without having the knowledge to build it. OK, cool. That, that makes it a bonus, definitely. OK, additionally, if you don't want the cannons, you can choose to have one and a half victory points at the end. That's not a bad thing. OK, cool. That's all for now. Yeah, that, that, that's a good overview. I think you got a good feel of uh, the game. Uh, thank you very much for showing us. How thank long you. does it normally play? Uh, for players who know the game, the seven turn version is 30 minutes per player. Okay. The first time you play it, it should be, should be not more than 45 minutes. Per There's player. a lot of simultaneous action, which makes it very fast. And uh, how many players? Two to six. Okay, and when is it gonna be out in the US? 
Uh, probably soon after Essen. Soon after Essen, and what do you know the price point? Uh, it's, uh, I believe, around 60. Okay. 60 euros. So 60 euros. So we'll, we can we'll do the math. How it goes to to dollars. That sounds sounds like great. Well, this sounds awesome. The uh, the miniatures are look amazing. I love the ship mechanic and uh, very exciting. Thank you. Thank you.